No, no. All right. I want to go over the most important piece of hardware on your bicycle. The saddle. Nothing will make your ride more pleasurable or absolutely misery inducing like you're riding a cheese grater than not having this thing, the, the right one for you and set up properly. And uh, th this particular one uh, overall felt fine. Uh, so it come brand new on my truck when I got it. So I'm like a, I'm like a kid at the store. As soon as I get home, I got I got to play with it. So I suited up down the road. I went. I, I made it a good. I think I did about 20 miles. And uh, you know, come back and my uh, nether regions were completely numb. And uh, I was like, holy smokes, what is going on? And uh, I actually took several minutes to get the, get the blood back there because as flat the profile as this one is, now not everybody has this problem, but uh, just the way I, I probably sit uh, puts a lot of pressure on your, on your nether regions and that stops the blood flow and uh, that'll make it numb or, or it can be pinch, pinching a nerve as well. But uh, yeah, and that, that was a little scary, so I really wasn't sure what was going on until uh, I looked into that, and I thought, well, yeah. The old, the old taint smasher here uh, wasn't, wasn't doing me no favors, so I tried adjusting it and, you know, getting angle, moving it forward, and nothing, nothing would make that feel better. And also, over anything more than like a half hour, your, my, your sit bones would just hurt. And I mean, that is, nothing is fun when, when your sit bones are hurting because the only thing you can do is, is get up out of the saddle. You, you got to stand up for a bit and just get to get some relief. And when you sit down, you just, you know, you're like, this is going to hurt. And it did. So then I started shopping around for, for saddles and uh, I ended up, I did some research online. So there's like 10,000 saddles you can get. And I came up with, this one, and uh, it, it's smaller over, a little bit shorter overall, and it has this little duckbill thing, which I never, that wasn't very comfortable either. If you'd slide up, that would kind of dig, dig at you a little bit. But it's by Physique, and it is a. I just looked on here and had it a moment ago. It says Tempo Argo, Argo Tempo, and uh, this particular one has carbon rails. And that was something I didn't know until till I was doing some research. Carbon, it, even though it's pretty stiff, it has some give to it. So it actually gives a little bit of shock absorption. So so just some food for thought if you have to uh, get a saddle. But uh, as you can see, this one has, has the cutout. And uh, that helped a great deal. But the only problem was, this one's about 100, 150 millimeters. It's too wide. It's just too wide for my set bones. Which those are the bones in your butt. If you sit on somebody and they're like, you got a bony butt, that's what they're feeling. Those are your set bones. They ride on the saddle, but if it's too wide, you you're, you you kind of walk around. You don't kind of get in where you need to be, and uh, that can lead to some discomfort as well over time. And uh, so I rode with that thing for a while, and I thought, man, I, I got a, uh, I need a bike fit. So I called my local cycle shop, and uh, not where I got the bike from. I got my bike. It's a Trek Domane, and uh, I got it from my local uh, Trek store. But uh, I went to uh, Velo Science uh, in New Albany, Ohio, and uh, they're ran by super great people, and the owner is an ex-professional cyclist, and uh, he's been all over the world, and uh, so he knows his stuff, so... and. Highly recommend getting a cycle fit. That should be as soon as you get your bike and you're kind of playing with it, and you especially you can get it, get something that works for you. Then go get a then go get your bike fit. But they will look at your the way you sit on the bike. You know your your are you in line with the seat post? Is your you know your knee at a certain angle in line with your the the ball of your foot where the where the pedal meets over your foot and. Uh, they will do all of that and get it to where you need to be, and uh, and and you you will feel immediately. I know when he moved mine, like moved the seat up and 
moved it forward a little bit and was able to roll the, the hoods back on the on the handlebars and I was like, oh man, that's a lot of difference because I was having even having trouble with numb hands. And uh I think it was more it was more on my left one. But uh so all those little things will drastically help. And uh so I, I did that, but my problem was I uh I went with this one and he set it up for that, but it really didn't matter because this saddle didn't fit me properly. So that was my bad. So I basically took my bike foot and threw it in the garbage. So uh, I actually ended up for, I'm a glutton for punishment, so I put the old paint masher back on and uh, I thought, well, maybe it was just a, a, a fit issue, you know, or since the bike didn't really fit me is what I was trying to tell myself. So I took that saddle off and I messed with it for a little here and there and then, and it, it just didn't work. And, uh, I tried it on like indoor trainer and I think I went outside a few times. I was like, nah, it, it just ain't working. But, uh, if you have a, a good local cycle shop, a good cycle shop should have a, a whole, you know, selection of saddles and they should let you take one home because uh, these things can get expensive in a hurry. I think when I got this dude off of eBay, it was 150 bucks. I'm stuck with it. It don't even work. You know, I could put it on eBay or Facebook or Craigslist or something. So uh, that was my bad. I did have a few other ones, and I got a little smarter. Uh, I just order them, try them, go, didn't work, put it in the box, and I shipped them back. But uh, it might be a dick move, but hey, it, it, it worked. Cup one of them was damaged, I will say that. So I sat on it and then sent it back because it was damaged. But anyway, uh, so they let me have like multiple saddles because you're going to have to try them. You, you can't just put it on and go sit on it and mm -mm, no, you have to ride. It would take me on average 15 to 20 minutes and I would know. I go, mm -mm, not working out. Did you just tell? You'll start feeling some discomfort and you're me i'm squirming around because it's just uncomfortable and i go this ain't working now you will you may have to tweak it a little bit because every saddle is a little bit different so uh you know in in regards to you know those two you know like i said you can see if you line the rails up that thing's that's a lot bigger you know it, it's there's a little bit more to it so you're gonna have to play with it but uh so i tried a few other ones and uh I, I settled on, I, I ended up buying this one. And it worked pretty decent. So I went from, I believe my original one was 130, yeah, 138 millimeters on the old tank masher. And uh, then I went up to 150 millime millimeters. And then this one, I believe was 143. So the fit was better. I had the cutout. It's, it's pretty firm. Which which is not a bad thing. You don't want you don't want the big old grandma saddle on a on a on a performance bike where you're really giving her the beans out there because uh, that's not good. Soft will make you wiggle, move around, and, and that'll that'll lead to all other sort of of, of, of issues. But uh, it's pretty firm, but it's got some padding, and uh, this worked pretty good. Once till I hit about an hour. If I'm out, if I'm on the trainer for an hour. It starts getting uncomfortable real quick and uh so same thing i i adjusted it you know down ever so slightly which helped but the problem is then i'm holding myself up because you're sliding on the saddle so you you, you don't want that either because most people even this bone flat ones they're riding them just flat and uh that's really where you should be or pretty pretty darn close but uh what I'm riding now, I'll, I'll take you guys in there and, and, and show you. It, it is drastically different. But uh, so I kind of went around when I first started getting saddled said from like 138 millimeters to 150 to 143. And I found a trick. I seen this online. I don't know if you guys can see it, if you can get the right light. Take a piece of cardboard. And this is this, this is the poor man's poor man's pressure mapping here of your set bones. It works so much better if you have like a TV box or something where it's glossy because you're going to see the impressions better. But uh, take that down on a flat surface, like a stool or something. Throw that dude on there, sit on it upright. Get your set bones, sit upright, get a, get a good firm and come pick straight up off of it. 
and you will actually see the spots where your sit bones were. And uh, circle them, find the center, then measure center to center. That will get you close. Obviously, I'm, I'm not European, so I'm, I'm bad on my millimeters. So I measured it in inches, got on Google, found the conversion, and found what I needed. So I was kind of in between 138, 143 is what I, what I believe. And actually, last time I, I went to Trek, they actually had the, the fancy stool you sat on. It's got gel, and it'll put the pressure, and they can move it in and, and all that good stuff. But uh, in a, that was able to, to get me closer. So I'll, I'll show you the one I'm riding now. But I will say, chamois, you need to wear proper gear. So you, you're, you're going to... First thing you're going to do, you're going to get on Amazon, I know it, and you're going to find the cheapest ones, because that's what I did. I ended up calling my, or calling, going down to my local Dick Sporting Goods. They had some, now they were a little better, but uh, same thing, you're going to want more than one, because you're going to wear it one day, and then try to wash it and forget, and it's going to stink and be wet sweat, and it's all gross, so you're going to want to get multiple ones, so you're, you're going to do it, and I'm going to tell you, you'd be, be careful, because you're going to buy a cheap one and think you got a deal, it's got a big old humongous fluffy pad and it's 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 not going to work it's going to be misery inducing so you're you get what you pay for so now there is some cheaper ones i'll, I'll show you here uh momentarily that uh the black bibs actually pretty decent ones uh, i probably need to get a little smaller for myself because i kind of i kind of walk around in them a little bit and the pad gets displaced and, and that leads to a little discomfort but uh i'll take you and show you guys what i am using right now all right, and that's my bike. It's a Trek de Monde SL6, and uh, that's my training setup. It's pretty much as low tech as you can get, but it works. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that is a weird looking saddle. A lot of people don't really care for them. Uh, it does look just weird as hell. I, I will give it credit there, but uh, it it works. It actually works for me. It's a uh, this one's a little, got a little more give. It's got a little more meat to it, a little more padding. And uh, that cutout is quite the cutout. Now, I tried a similar one and uh, I didn't have as much padding. And this kind of like dug in. I do slide a little bit because you got to kind of get back here and, and this thing locks you in. You're not, you're not able to move. So if you like being able to move around, that one ain't, ain't going to be for you. But uh, that one works for me. And uh, I do need to play with it some more. I could do a good hour and a half uh, on the trainer. And, and riding indoors versus outdoors is different. It, it, it's a different animal because you're, you're moving around, you're not pedaling, you're going downhill, uh, you know, you, you stand uphill, turning into corners, and, and, and all of that does have a different experience and is, is different on your seating. So sitting in one place for extended amounts of time, will you'll know real quick when something ain't working out. But uh, I do need to adjust that some. I, I hate to say it, but I need to kind of cant it up just a little bit more. And uh, just just a little bit, just, just a wee bit. Because uh, I don't want to go too high, because then if you're, you're, you know, you're, you're leaning over, uh, that's going to kind of dig in a little bit. So that, that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about there. But last ride I took, uh, that was fine. It, it, it didn't really bother me. I might have to kind of uh, adjust and, you know, pull, your, pull yourself up some. But uh, other than that, it was actually uh, uh, pretty, pretty good. But that is the first bike I ever bought. And it was a COVID special early this year or something. Probably ask way too much money. It was like five hundred bucks, but it did. But it did come with clipless pedals and a brand new pair of shoes, and they're actually decent. I'm still wearing them now. I never got other ones, and uh, so I don't think I did too bad. And uh, it, it was a it's a decent bike for the for the money. I mean, it's like a two thousand and ten. But as uh, far as that seat, I could do a good hour and a half on that baby, and uh, never had too many problems. I mean, it's. It's got some give to her. She's she's a little she's a little squishy, but uh, I, I don't know why that one was just fine. I get a little numbness after after a while. I even thought about taking off, putting it on my track if I had to, but I didn't really want to, and uh, so that's why I want to get something more per performance based. And 
That's my doggy. That's Jeezy. His big brother is out here somewhere. Messed that up. All right. I'll uh, I'll grab the uh, cycling gear and I'll show you guys that. All right. Now these ones in particular, obviously they're inside out. These are by the Black Bibs. And actually, uh, I had seen some guys mention them, and even Phil Guyman on his uh, YouTube channel uh, mentioned them. And he gets their uh, mother company, well, this is the sister company of, I was trying to think what the name is, I'm drawing a blank. I'll put it in the, in the description. Uh, they do custom skin suits for, for professionals, the one piece, and uh, that's they do all his stuff. And uh, so they own this company, so... I mean, you can get, actually get a decent deal on these, and they got a really good chamois. It's a, uh, it's pretty soft, but it's it's firm. You don't want it like super thin, because then it just you're just there's nothing there. But uh, another thing you want to watch is the stitching. You may think, man, that thing's, boy, that feels great. And uh, 30 minutes away from the house, that's like a saw blade grinding into your in between your your legs and your in your junk. Hmm. Mm -mm. You, you you will be hating life. You'll take your bike, throw it down a ravine, and never ride again. And uh, we don't want that. So, uh, like I said, I prefer the, the bib shorts, the bib style, because they, they it keeps them up. If you're riding shorts over, you wiggle around, they, they kind of move around, and it just seems these these stay better. Uh, and and these, these are probably about as cheap as you can and get. I, I don't remember what they cost. I forget, but I'll, I'll put a link. In the description the black bibs now these ones obviously are inside out as well uh, I'm gonna butcher the name ASOS ASSOS uh, these ones are the model mil GT it says long distance because I'm not doing like sprints or anything so oops, velcro stuck to them but the pad when when I went to my local shop he was he highly recommended these and they are pricey let me tell you yeah, I, bu I bought one pair of these just to just to let you know there, spare you the sticker shock. But uh, I'm looking at them. I'm going, that ain't a lot of pad there, boss. You know, and he's like, I'm telling you, these things are awesome. So I, I was highly skeptical. I'm like, well, they, they can't be that bad for the price. I mean, they got to be damn good. But uh, and these things are light as a feather. I mean, you you almost check to make sure you're wearing something when you're wearing because they are. It, they are so form-fitting and so light and comfortable. They feel like you're literally wearing nothing. But they are extremely comfortable because the, the way they stitched them as well, the material is extremely soft, but the way they did the edges, they kind of fold them under. And uh, as you, you can see the, the padding there. And, it, and it's a, you know, it, it's a foam, but it's it, it's got a good bounce back. I've wore these several times in, uh, on the trainer if I'm doing... A longer distance just because I like to be comfortable and uh, they work out great but uh, I did I'll, I'll do a video on some of this stuff I did just pick up now these these I'll admit these these are these are uh, uh, Amazon special spawned that's straight out of China now these are actual cold weather full-on pants and uh, they got the, the zip up on them but the, they got just a little bit of a very very soft padding in them and they are comfy they're extremely comfy I've, I've worn them on a fairly cold day didn't have any problems same thing these are you know got the got the the, the chamois pad in there and uh they seem like they hold up i did buy a pair of these shorts and they weren't that bad but like i said you do get what you pay for but obviously you know i'm, I'm not a millionaire and they don't give these things to me so uh but uh another one chamois cream i got chamois butter someone recommended in a facebook group on amazon get a big old tube of it you rub that on any of the skin that's coming in contact now they even says on the direction you could put it on the chamois pad i didn't really like that idea. i was more afraid of it soaking it up and being all nasty and gooey and never never get it out but uh so that's why i never did that but uh yeah you put that on put that on the skin that rubs and it'll help keep it from chafing and uh because any help you can get, especially you start getting hot and sweaty and your skin, you know, your skin is your, your legs are 
pumping and your 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 skin mm -mm. yeah you're 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 gonna be hating life and uh certainly don't want that but uh other than that i think that's about all i got uh any questions uh feel free put them in the comments and i'll do the best i can to answer them thanks